When you think of archaeology, what comes to mind? A researcher carefully digging through the earth, discovering the secrets of ancient civilizations? Well, you're right and you're wrong. You'll be interested to know that archaeologists practically spend more time in the lab and office doing analysis and writing reports or publications. Whether this means entering data into Excel spreadsheets, we'll never know. But professional archaeologists spend more of their time on these tasks than they do in Pompeii, Luxor or the Terracotta Warriors. Not only does it dispel the stereotype of these cream-coloured shorts or Indiana Jones hats, it also gives us a reason to be excited. Why? because archaeology labs might be the most underrated research facilities in human history. Here's how. Our historically minded specialists look at how often and where they find different types of artifacts. This information helps them understand what people did at a place and suggests what their activities meant to them. In that, they study the four main categories of archaeological activity, which are artifacts, ecofacts, structures, and features associated with human activity. So what do archaeologists do there? Well, they are digging, they're admiring, and then with the help of state-of-the-art facilities, they're analyzing. One example of archaeology gone wild is baking. Bread was created using yeast residue extracted from 4,500-year-old Egyptian vases. After extracting the dormant yeast from cooking vessels, an amateur gastro-Egyptologist used ancient grains and sourdough to make edible bread. They even made beer, by the way. So who's in charge, though? Well, now archaeology programs, they're supported by universities and offer lab and field equipment to students and professionals for use in their research projects. These facilities also provide strong training on analytical methods. Resources like this are an integral part of student research and learning. Processes include lithic analysis, meaning chemical characterization and useware, faunal analysis, which are isotopic studies and identification of taxa, ceramics analyses, so identifying matrix and composition and sourcing, and of course geoarchaeology, which includes sediment and soil analyses to determine de depositional regimes. Labs also analyze spatial data to test assumptions and help generate better insights. But of course, there are many kinds of archaeological research facilities out there. We can name six types of laboratory spaces. One is an archaeological chemical laboratory for ecofact extraction and identification. Two is an image laboratory for microfilm, macro and micro material analysis, including a scanning electronic microscope. Three is a computer laboratory for quantitative analyses, GIS studies and multimedia work. Four is an XRF laboratory for geochemical information. Five is a geophysical computer room. And at six, we have the soils lab for, for sediment processing and analyses. There are more, but of course, these are just some of the most popular options. We can't go into all of them. Archaeology is an interdisciplinary study that interests any and every material aspect of human cultures and societies, both past and present. Now, you can't just be an archaeologist and research the entire realm of topics from Neolithic remnants of early human settlements to the trash and refuse of modern cities. Some archaeologists work in museums, some in the field, but many of them in labs themselves. By the way, according to the industry, Indiana Jones, the icon of the field, is actually a terrible archaeologist. No matter where archaeologists carry out their analysis, though, they need a facility that helps them maintain the moralities of recording findings and maintaining work that is accountable. Remember, the work does not belong to them, nor does it belong to an actual museum sometimes. Labs need to be state-of-the-art to support this mission and this philosophy. So, archaeology means careful excavation of soil and removal of artifacts. It's supported by documentation and interpretation. Thanks to the power of specialist labs, it's why our world secrets can be analyzed and discovered and shared with you. That's all for now. Be sure to like us on LinkedIn. Make sure to comment and subscribe to us as well. Thanks for everything. See you soon.